in the news now is an article about the military hospitals going backwards and it's really shocking when patients military patients have to be turned away from a military hospital and um you know this article is in news 24 and you'll find the link to the article in the description below this video as well as in the first comment the headline says patients turned away from cape town military hospital after medical equipment breaks down and this just gives you an overall picture of a government that is failing to look after very basic infrastructure that people need for their survival. Patients at Weinberg 2 Military Hospital in Cape Town say they are being turned away as the hospital struggles with broken medical equipment. Nurses at the hospital claim they have been without much needed equipment, including x-ray machines, for weeks. The SA National Defense Force is investigating the allegations. Now that part I have a real problem with. Because uh, if the military don't know what's happening within their own facilities, we have a serious problem. And this turns us into sitting ducks. I mean, this is a hospital, a medical hospital. The South African National Defense Force is investigating allegations that Weinberg 2 Military Hospital in Cape Town is turning patients away due to broken medical equipment. Now, this used to be a really top of the range hospital with some of the best equipment in the world. On Monday, Glenda Pontes was turned away when she went to the hospital uh, for x-rays because she was struggling to breathe. She says she was told that the x-ray machines at the hospital were out of order. Pontes uh, claimed a staff member told her three people were transferred on Sunday because vital machinery was not operational so this was staff at the hospital speaking out to someone who is speaking out to the media she said no notices were put up to warn people about the lack of working medical equipment the point is that for the main military hospital not to have any adequate x-ray machines working is extremely disturbing for obvious reasons it makes us question whether we will receive professional attention in an emergency she added and I have to absolutely agree with that. Pontus said she and her husband contributes to the military medical fund for close to 40 years. So the situation was a concern for them. You can go and read the rest of the article. The main thing is to understand that currently, um, very basic things that you should have in a sovereign country, which we clearly are not, uh, based on the evidence before us, that... Your government should be able to look after basic infrastructure, keep your country sovereign through a military that can actually be operational. Uh, as I've done, done the article on our sub Grippens that are on the ground, that are not in the air, they've been on the ground for more than six months, and now a military hospital cannot do basic care. And uh, hopefully this will be resolved soon, but it's, it, it, it's symptomatic of government collapse and i think the uh, the african national congress the ruling party at the moment they're feeling the pressure and i think they're starting to panic uh, they might make mistakes in that panic and it's going to be interesting to see if people just try and grab as much money as they can through all sorts of tenders that get opened up in this bid to fix things up or whether they actually will start caring and actually sort out things like this properly and uh, i don't think that the sorting out is within their capabilities and therefore we need to create a new system a new governance system where we put new people in charge of this country and we do that by first becoming independent of government and corporate control becoming as self-reliant as possible there is no other way if we want to depend on this government, like this lady that went to the hospital, you might just end up dying. Thank you very much for watching this video. Till the next video.